How's everybody doing today? This is Corey Lee's Boxing, and we are back with another banger. So please smash that like button, you guys, and subscribe. And yeah, man, I want to talk Trayvon Marshall versus Maestro, uh, Gabriel Maestro. It was a, a, a good fight, but it didn't last that long. It was definitely a barn burner. Uh, both guys, you know, were throwing haymakers, um, you know, pretty much from the opening bell. We all know Marshall to have a lot of power in those hands that he has. He's a tall, rangy fighter. Um, Maestro is more of a short, compact type of fighter. Smash that like button and subscribe to you guys. Uh, so let's get into it, man. I like what I've seen out of, uh, you know, out of Marshall in the first round. Um, you know, he was, you know, picking the body and going up top. Um, but Maestro was, you know, getting, you know, etching his way closer and closer. And, you know, eventually in the second round, uh, he caught Marshall. And, um, and, and when he caught him, man, he caught Marshall uh, so good. Um, Marshall was never able to really fully recover. I think if he would have took a knee, um, and, and, and gather himself. I think he would have been a little bit better. Uh, but being that he was in the heat of the moment and he didn't have a whole lot of experience, mind you, both of these guys had, you know, 13 professional fights total. <laughs> so, you know, you know, for that to be done like that, man, you guys got to understand, man. You know, both guys were, you know, putting their tough this guy, this this fight, man. You know, I think Maestro had five was five and zero. Oh, with one draw, that one disputed draw was was, was against Fox, uh, Michael Fox, which, uh, you know, a lot of people said that, you know, uh, Fox should have won that fight. Um, you know, a lot of people were talking about that fight because, you know, Maestro was dropped in that fight. And I'm going to be honest, you know, obviously, you know, Marshall was the A-side, you know, and a lot of people thought that he was going to win this fight. Uh, but that wasn't the case, man. That's why you... That's why you, that's why we're in boxing, you know, because you don't know who's going to win the fight. You know, both guys, like I said, were going in there tough. Um, they were, they were, they were matched tough. Um, but like I said, with that Fox, you know, disputed win, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, that was almost two years ago. And so, you know, a lot of people thought that, you know, Maestro was there for the taking. Um, and I'm going to be honest, man, the more I think about it, um, Maestro took some time off um, after that fight, I believe. And, uh, you know, he's got a long amateur record. Um, and he was, I believe he was on the Olympic team twice. Uh, so, I mean, the guy's got, you know, tons and tons of experience. And that showed, man. That showed. You know, he kept his defense real tight. Um, and he didn't come in until he was ready to open up. Um so, you know, he didn't get caught a whole lot of times with his hands down and stuff like that. His defense was pretty tight. Um, there's some definitely some things to work on for Marshall, being that he got stopped in the second round and he was a very promising prospect. Uh, you know, a lot of people are going to write this guy Marshall off now because he got, you know, iced. He just pretty much got cleaned up in the second round. You know, and a lot of people thought that this was the guy. A lot of people thought that, you know, he was one of the – better 147 pound fighters there there are out there i've heard sparring wars that marshall's hurt you know top guys in sparring um but this is a fight you know and uh you know some of those foreign guys man they are very very hungry you know and um somebody's o had to go and it was marshall's you know he got stopped in the second round you guys um, he got dropped the first time, and then the second time he tried to get up, couldn't get up. Um, the second time he couldn't get up. The first time he was, I'm surprised that they let it go after the first one because he was badly hurt the first time. You know, and Maestro, credit to Maestro, knowing when he has a guy hurt, you got to get him out of there because you don't know what's going to happen next. So credit to Marshall for, I mean, excuse me, Maestro to, for getting him out of there and, and, and not acknowledging that he was hurt. And, um, and, and putting his foot completely, um, you know, on the gas pedal, man. I mean, this guy was, you know, he put a lot of uh, time and effort 
into getting, you know, Marshall out of there, man. I would love to know what you guys think about this fight, man. This was definitely an upset, uh, being that, you know, Maestro only had four or five professional fights. Um, you know, Marshall only had eight, but, you know, at the end of the day, he was the A-side. He was supposed to win this fight. And, um, you know, you can never judge a book by its cover, you know. And what I mean by that is you can never think just because a guy's got four or five fights that that's, you know, he's going to automatically lose. You know, you got to kind of peel back the layers and see where he's coming from and, you know, actually what he actually has accomplished in boxing, not just in the professional ranks, you know, because Alexander Yuzik and Inouye, you know, won world titles. Um, well, I know Inouye did one world title. Both of them won world titles um, in under 15 professional fights. So you can't always go on, you know, you can't always go on just, you know, the record. You know, so let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Please smash that like button and subscribe. And until next time, you guys, peace.